You know, the big question is, am I watching you, or are you watching me? This psychology stuff really messes with my head. Oh well. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me again, and uh, this time we're going to do a movie, but we're going to do a good movie. A movie you need to watch. And not very many times am I going to present to you a good movie. So I figured that in our programming schedule, we ought to devote one day, one day, to movies I own that you should see. Okay? And the movie today, i to reach in here and grab it unsuspectingly, is A Fistful of Quarters. The King of Kong. That's right. You heard what I said. This is a documentary. It's about a guy named Steve Weeb. Steve Weeb, not Weeby. Steve Weeb. And Steve has something on his mind. He wants to be the best at one thing. In all his life, he's never been good at much of anything. He was a pitcher, and he threw it at his arm. He was a musician, didn't really make it out. So he decided to become a teacher. Something I almost did. But the point being is, he's a good teacher. All his kids love him. So he decided he wanted to be something better than what he was. He wanted to hold some sort of... He wanted to be somebody. So what does he do? He buys a Donkey Kong machine. And decides to be the best there is at Donkey Kong. Now there's a problem. There's a guy, a real jerk, named Billy Mitchell. And if you've ever read the... Guess Book of World Records, which I have a copy around here somewhere, probably somewhere over there. He's the greatest video game player ever, accordingly. Supposedly, he's played the perfect game of Pac-Man. Apparently, if you give him an award by Namco for doing it. And when I say a perfect game of Pac-Man, a perfect game of Pac-Man. He got everything you can get without dying. He every ghost, every pellet, every power thing, ever. So let's back up. Steve Weeb wants to be the best at Donkey Kong, so he basically maps it out. He's got such an intelligent mind that he actually figured out the algorithms of all the movements of everything so that he could figure out exactly where to go and how to do it. And what happens is, he becomes A number one. He's got the best score in Donkey Kong ever could, which at the time I can't tell you what it was, but it's pretty damn good. Now what happens is, there's this place called Twin Galaxies. You can look it up on the internet, twingalaxies.com. They're the one place in the world that you can send video game scores to be put down as records. And the point being is, is that you have to have these things verified. Normally on video camera, or you have to have a, a actual written witness that said you did this. Steve puts his camera up. Beats Don Kong, which by the way, all these old arcade games have a kill screen, which means when you get as far as the, the, the technology can move, it just kills you. And that's the end of the game. You can't go any further. And he actually got there. So he posts his score, he puts it up on video. Twin Galaxies actually sent people to his house while he wasn't there. They entered his house, took out part of his machine to check in case there were cheating going on. And then turned around and said, eh, your score's not good enough. Billy's still the guy. So now Billy Mitchell's running around, who, by the way, is like the most successful guy ever. He's got a hot sauce chain, and on top of that, he owns restaurants, and on top of that, he's still like the greatest player ever. And so my point is, is he's still a jerk. And of course, Steve Weeb only wants to get in a book. He just wants to be known for something. He even showed up at Contests, live contests that said, hey, come here, play. We'll show everybody you're the world's greatest. Billy Mitchell would not show up. And if you watch the movie, once again, Billy never offers to play him. All you got to do is sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one with a guy. I'm talking be adults about this. Steve just wants to be the greatest. Billy Mitchell apparently is the greatest. Sit down and play each other. Find out who's the right guy. No one ever says anything bad about Billy. And this is about to run over, and I'm about to get punished. So you know what? Here's the deal. Watch King of Kong. Watch this full quarters. It's me. Later.